Hey guys, NG Mood 3652 here, and this is going to be System Test 13. It actually hasn't been too long of a time since I last recorded my System Test 12, but I got a few new devices and I put them up on my system and I might as well just show them off in a system test. So let's get to it. Um, as you can see here, first device on the board, we have a um, notifier BG10 under a stopper 2. No horn on this one. Put that back on there. So, panel's all normal. And above it, you probably would expect to see a system sensor I3. But guess what? The system sensor I3 is no longer there, as you can see. The ELM2 LED is centered with the board and the panel now. Where did the system sensor I3 go? Well, it's actually up here. I happen to have a few nails on my wall, two of them, for my clock. I took down my clock because it fell and the nails could not support it, and I put up the system sensor I3 instead. You know, blink a second. There it is. So yeah, I put it up here and it works great. So. Next to BG10, I have my Faraday Chevron. This is one of my new devices. Um, and unfortunately, this, the hex wrench screw on this came a little bit stripped, so I'll probably have to cut out the camera for that part because it takes a while to unscrew and screw back in. So, above it, I have a familiar setup. I have my Wheelock NS 24MCW set on 15 Candela, code 3, low volume. And next to it, I have my Commander 3 remote screw. Nothing special about this. 15 Candela. And my panel is set on Wheelock sync. And surprisingly, the Gentex strobe actually syncs up with Wheelock, which is a little weird. So... Walking out here, the devices in the hall, I have my Firelight, or not Firelight, Notifier BG-12. Bleh, let me say that again. My Notifier BG-12, and for all those technical people, I can say NBG-12L, but whatever. And above it, my key switch is normal, as usual. I can't, can't even talk today. And above it, I have another new device. I have my Wheelock ZNS 24MCW. This is set on 110 Candela, high volume, code 3. High volume is because I need to make sure that this will wake up the entire house if there was a fire. So, I know it may sound a little ridiculous, but I think it will because it's like 87 decibels loud. So, it's pretty loud. Over here, I still have my 2151 blinking away, doing its job. Walking downstairs. Let's see what's down here. I have my last new device. I have my Wheelock RSS down here. Sit on 15 Candela. No, 75. And uh, I think it looks nice down here. Wheelock RSS. Walk up here again. And we're going to do a pull something. I'm not sure yet, but we'll find out. Walk into here again so I can get my hearing protection on because this is a pretty loud system. Where did it go? There they are. Okay. Put this on real quick. Okay. Now we're ready. Get my keys, stick them in the panel. And we'll do the test. So let's pull the chevron first. Three, two, one. Here it is. Super loud and horns and strokes are in sync. As you can see. I don't know if you can see it. It all looks like one giant strobe blast. But I can see it. Walk down here. Here's the RSS. I don't know if you can see it the sync. Well, I tried getting a little more perspective going on. Back up here. There you go. You can see they're all synced. So 
balance it now. You switch LEDs on. So we'll silence it. And as you can see, I can now do audible silence with it because they're all two wire devices. This is a really bright strobe. I don't know if you can see the one down there. You probably can't. But they're all in sync and everything, so that's pretty cool. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut out the camera so I can reset the Faraday Chevron because it takes a while to reset. And then I will resume it and reset the system. Alright, the system is reset. Well, this is, that's because this part of the video is being recorded on a different day. And that's because I only I don't always get to test my system randomly. So I have to film it on some different days sometimes. And you may be wondering, wait, why is 4251-20 here? It's a long story. Well, I had to stop. I couldn't record more after the previous click because people came home. And while I was resetting this, I couldn't get closed again without completely stripping the screw. So I just duct taped the chevron shut. And a couple days ago when I wasn't home... The fire alarm wasn't off because I had this taped to together so the button would like release and cause a false alarm. I had it taped together, I thought I'd hold it, but I didn't. So it caused a false alarm and went to panic. And yeah. So I just put this here for a replacement. But I won't be pulling it. Anyway, on to the next device. I think we will go to ahead and test the system sensor i3, which is up here now, which I really like. Alright. Use test switch, thing, test switch, test button. Fully synchronized, I love it. This one's much louder out here because it's on high volume code 3. And then there's a key switch. downstairs. I love how this looks down here. Go upstairs again. Open the panel, on key, ah, sound light, okay, here we go, focus, go, and to knowledge, there's silence, we got audible silence, go out here, see audible silence, That'd make a great thumbnail. And um, everything's fully synced, including the one downstairs, which I really like. Using the Wheelock Sync on my panel, which I've never get, really gotten to use. And let's go ahead and rearm with the Notifier BG12L or NBG12L, former LX, but it didn't come with the module, which I really don't care about because I don't have an addressable Notifier panel. So, Push in, pull down. Hear the panel. Oh, that's, that's interesting. It skipped there. Head up to one more time. Synchronization. This strobe is really bright. Alright, let's go ahead and silence. As you can see, we have fire. We have an alarm condition on both the zones. Everything's in audible silence. 
I'm going to go ahead and reset the BG12. That's clicking away. And as you can see, it says 110 candela. I don't know if you can see it. So my camera doesn't like to focus. Let's see inside. We'll go ahead and reset. And then we'll do the BG10. And then we'll end it off. So, first of all, you have to lift the stopper, push in, pull down. Go ahead and reset this. I won't cut out. So I actually uh the hex wrench thing on this um BG10 actually started to get stripped, so I just replaced it with a normal screw, which actually is more convenient because it doesn't take like I don't know, it's just more convenient for me. And then this is inside. This is the newer one made after 1995. You can tell by the little X, like this part, like the push and pull that like I don't even know why I keep saying that. Like this little part where you pull it down has actually like there should be if your BG10 was made after 1995, like on the if you open it up where this handle would be, there should be like an X and that makes it made after 1995 for fact. So let me show you guys. Because why not? So it would be kind of bonus footage. Right here. I don't know if you can see the X, but there's an X right there. And that means your BG10 was made up in 1995. I thought that was kind of cool. Just screw this back in. Go ahead and reset. Stop it back on. And reset. And, um, yeah, guys. That's going to be pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Oh, wait. Hold on. No, it's not the end. Because I forgot to say something. As part of the 300 subscriber special, I know it's kind of late. We're already at like 325. I know it's kind of late, but as part of the 300 subscriber special, the next system test will be a request system test. I know I've done this once. It didn't kind of, It kind of didn't work out that well, but... Next system test will be a request system test. If you're new to this channel, you don't know how it works. Basically, in the description, I will have a list of all the locations of all the devices, including, like, like I'll say, fire alarm board, pull station number one, pull, pull station two, and then, like, hallway, hallway pull station, hallway NAC, you know, everything like that in the description. And it'll, it'll either say... Um, what will it say? It will either say, like, taken or full or available. And in the comment section, you guys can comment what alarm you want and where. Like, say, for example, um, let me think. Like, FCIMS2 hallway pull station. And then I'll put that up. And you can only use, you can only choose one device. Like, um... And then another example, Gentex Commander 3 Downstairs Knack. So you guys can do that. And um, I actually added a few things after I sold that Lithonia Edgelet sign. So here's all the devices, everything that's up now. And then the rest of my collection. There. And I just can't use like the chime on the out outside knack or this or anything really heavy on the outside knack. So. And yes, these are Federal Signal MMPSs, but they're kind of broken, so I won't, I'd prefer not to use them, but, yeah, there's everything. So yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to leave a comment saying what alarm you want for the next request system test as part of the 300 subscribers special. Thank you guys so much for 300 subscribers, by the way, and I will see you guys in a later video. Bye.